Somebody asked me what caused you to decide to bring the convention here to Memphis. <laughs> was it because it was a new work? No. I was encouraged to come here by the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> the KKK wrote me and they threatened me. <laughs> they heard the truth of God message and said that uh, in, you know, cause stations like to bleep me out. Pastor Gino Jennings is known for his strong and often controversial stances on various issues, including his criticism of modern church practices and societal norms. His outspokenness and unwavering faith have attracted both support and opposition. Due to his bold proclamations and calls for a return to strict biblical principles, he has faced threats from groups like the KK. These threats highlight the challenges and dangers that come with taking a firm stand on one's beliefs, especially in the face of powerful opposition. Jennings' outspoken nature and strict doctrinal stance have not been without consequence. Among the most severe forms of opposition he has faced are threats from the Q Klux Klan. The KK, known for its history of violence and intimidation against African Americans and other minority groups, has targeted Jennings due to his vocal condemnation of racism and his efforts to uphold biblical truth. They said, a nigger like you <laughs> should not be on television. They said, you make me want to go back and get my sheets. Lord. And they said they want to hang me in their backyard. Lord. So when I got that news, I felt so wonderful. <laughs> I felt light on my feet. <laughs> I felt very encouraged because they threatened me and said they're going to hang me. Hallelujah. So I didn't want their words to be in vain. <laughs> so we are here. Amen. The Ku Klux Klan, KK, a white supremacist group with a long history of violence and intimidation against African Americans and other minority groups, represents a significant threat to anyone who stands against their ideology. Originating in the post-Civil War era, the KK has consistently promoted a racist agenda using terror tactics to instill fear and maintain white supremacy. This group's actions have included lynchings, bombings, and various forms of physical and psychological intimidation aimed at suppressing civil rights and enforcing racial segregation. For individuals like Pastor Gino Jennings, who boldly speak out against racism and advocate for biblical truth and equality, the cake's threats are a grim reminder of the perils that come with challenging such deeply entrenched hate. Jennings' ministry, characterized by its vocal condemnation of racism and its unwavering commitment to biblical principles, places him directly at odds with the Keek's ideology. Despite the significant risk, Jennings continues to preach his message of faith and justice, embodying the courage and resilience required to confront such formidable opposition. These threats from the cake underscore the broader struggle against racism and bigotry that many religious leaders face. It highlights the importance of standing firm in one's convictions, even when confronted with threats of violence and intimidation. Jennings' defiance in the face of such danger serves as an inspiring example for others, illustrating the power of faith and the importance of fighting for what is right, regardless of the personal cost. His experience calls attention to the ongoing need for vigilance and courage in the battle against hate and intolerance, a fight that continues to be relevant in today's society. Receiving threatening messages from the KK underscores the real and present dangers faced by religious leaders who take a stand against powerful and hostile groups. These threats are a stark reminder of the cost of discipleship and the courage required to uphold one's convictions in the face of such opposition. Despite the potential danger, Jennings remains remains resolute in his mission. He often speaks about the need for believers to stand firm in their faith, regardless of the threats or persecution they may face. God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. That's right. I don't care if you Ku Klux Klan, skinhead, no head. 
We have white brothers and white sisters, brown brothers and brown sisters, yellow brothers and yellow sisters, mm -hmm. dark brothers and dark sisters. We have all races in the truth of God. That's right. The Ku Klux Klan is just a group of immature, ignorant men and women who are mentally ignorant, emotionally incapacitated, and physically unqualified, and spiritually dead. Pastor Jennings emphasizes the need for a spiritual revolution, urging believers to stand firm in their faith despite threats or persecution. He believes that true adherence to biblical teachings requires courage and resilience, particularly in times of adversity. His experience serves as a reminder of the importance of conviction and the cost that can come with it. The impact of Geno Jennings' ministry is multifaceted. On one hand, he has inspired many to take their faith more seriously and to strive for a higher standard of holiness. His teachings have led to the establishment of numerous congregations that adhere to his interpretation of Christian doctrine. These congregations often emphasize strict adherence to biblical teachings, modesty in dress and behavior, and a commitment to living a life that is distinct from the world. So you dared me to come here? I'm here. <laughs> and I say like General MacArthur, I shall return. Hallelujah. So, I want to say to all the racist bigots <laughs> that hate the truth of God, I'm, I'm so glad that this message is making the devil mad. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing. Amen. Now to my television viewers, The Truth of God is the greatest religious program, not just in America, but in the world. On the other hand, his ministry has also been a source of significant controversy. His harsh critiques and uncompromising stance have alienated many, leading to widespread debate and sometimes division within the Christian community. Critics argue that his approach is overly rigid and fails to account for the complexities of modern life and the diverse ways in which people experience and express their faith. Despite the controversy, Jennings remains a significant figure whose influence continues to grow. His ministry has a global reach with congregations and followers in various countries. His teachings, available through sermons, books, and online media, continue to attract new adherents who are drawn to his message of returning to the foundational principles of Christianity. Geno Jennings was born into a family with strong religious convictions, which shaped his path from a young age. His father, Bishop Ernest Jennings, was a devout minister, and young Geno was exposed to rigorous biblical teachings early on. This foundation laid the groundwork for his future ministry, where he would emphasize strict adherence to scripture and denounce what he saw as deviations from true Christian doctrine. Jennings' ministry officially began in the late 1980s when he founded the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, Inc. From the outset, his preaching was characterized by a fervent call to return to the basics of Christian faith. He condemned what he perceived as the moral decay and complacency within contemporary Christianity. His sermons often focused on topics such as modesty, holiness, and the dangers of false teachings, drawing sharp lines between what he considered true and false doctrines. Pastor Geno Jennings' journey is a compelling narrative of unwavering faith and bold outspokenness. His ministry, marked by both profound influence and significant opposition, offers valuable insights into the nature of religious leadership in contemporary society. By examining his life and teachings, we can gain a deeper understanding of the challenges and opportunities faced by those who choose to stand firm in their convictions, regardless of the cost. Jennings' call for a spiritual revolution remains a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of true faith and the enduring impact of steadfast leadership. 